Well, this may turn out to be the worst idea in the world, but I don't have an engine crane and I don't really spend, feel like spending $500 on something I'm gonna use once. So in an attempt to save $500, I'm gonna risk the $12,000 engine uh, and I'm basically just gonna wheel it over here, mount it to the mount, and then just try and lift this whole assembly up until the nose gear comes down. This may work, it may not, but uh, we're gonna try. This is like easily the jankiest thing I've done in my life, and flip flops nonetheless. All right, so I got the engine up. Uh, basically all I did is I invited a buddy over and we both just grabbed either end and just lifted until the nose gear came in lockdown. Um, that did let me notice something. Um, first of all, the gas spring that's in there is not good. It's the one that was delivered with the kit originally and uh, I'm not surprised that it's not good because it's probably 35 years old and most people recommend replacing those like annually. Um, but yeah, the engine's up, it's mounted. Uh, basically what I wanna do at this point is kind of clean things up a little bit. So I wanna finish painting the outside of the engine. I've got some new seals. I'm going about and trying to replace all the seals on this engine because they're, you know, old Lycoings are notorious for leaking oil and I don't really want that. Um, so I'm not gonna overhaul it yet, but I wanna get it halfway decent before we get any further. Um, so I've got new gaskets to go around the valve covers. Uh, there's some other stuff I have to do in here, but yeah, let's just get kind of painting and, and finish spritzing this engine up so it looks halfway decent. I apologize if the audio is a bit weird. There's a thunderstorm going on outside. So as you probably noticed, there is no Lance Air in here right now. I did not sell it, um, but part of the reason that I wanted to get all the seals replaced on the engine, especially with regards to something that would be containing oil, along with repaint the outside, is that the Lance Air is going to be in storage for the next few years. So I got selected to go to Ramstein, Germany to go fly the C-130. And as a result, the Lancer project is gonna get put on the back burner for a little bit. But rest assured, I do plan on finishing this project. I know this plane has sat for the last like 37 years, but um, I hope to be the one that actually finishes it. And I did put a fair bit of thought into it. I thought about selling it, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I've wanted a Lancer for a while. I really wanna finish this project for my own sake. Um, so for that reason, uh, this is the situation right now. So 
once I kind of get moved and situated and everything, I'll still be making videos. Um, but just for everyone that's new because of the popularity of one of my videos, um, I never really intended for this channel to be really focused on one thing or another. Um, this is really just me posting random crap about my life for posterity's sake. So if you're here for specifically the Lancer build or here for specifically Goose videos, I'm sorry to disappoint, but that's not really what this channel is. Um, if you can't tell looking through uh, most of the videos where there's just a bunch of random crap and me skiing poorly every spring break. Ah, cool. Um, but yeah, with that said, this is where the Lancer project is right now. The engine's mounted and it's pretty much ready to go. Um, and there's still a ton of work to be had. And I hope to resume that work as soon as I get back from Germany. But unfortunately, that's going to be years down the road. Um, with that said, if you'd like to stick around and see where my Germany and 130 adventures bring me, um, I'd be happy to share as much as I possibly can. But until then, the Lancer project is on hold indefinitely. Yeah.